Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I obviously cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything dropping in week four of Supreme's spring summer 2023 collection. Well, before I can even speak on week four, guys, I've got to do something else. Thanks to your continuous support. And it's, you know, it's just got me buzzing. I'm doing well on a Thursday evening. <laughs> what I'm going to talk about at the start of this video is the recent subscriber milestone that you guys helped the channel reach, which I've been asking for for this month. And it's been fantastic to see. Thank you guys. Thank you to both the public and private subscribers as you helped the channel reach the subscriber milestone of 3595 before the end of the month. And I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> I like, yeah, I've been wanting to hit that one for a while. So it's just really awesome to see to end off that Thursday with that kind of nice little reward there. So thank you guys. Thank you for the continuous support. Um, hopefully with your guys, you know, constant support, we can reach the next milestone, which I'll set in today's video. We hit 3595. I'm gonna ask for five more. 3600. Can we hit 3600 subs before the end of March? I think with your guys' continuous support, we can do it. Hopefully we can get that before the end of this month. All right, now that I'm done buzzing about that high of reaching 3595, we can start talking about week four. So yes, guys, it is time to cover the latest week of Supreme's latest season. This week, we are covering their fourth weekly drop of their spring summer 2023 season. And this week, we are just getting seasonal pieces. No collaborative pieces, but in saying that, there's some fun little accessories which we've had teased to us through some Instagram posts that we're getting in week four. Now, uh, how we're going to cover the release details, all the individual seasonal pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole and the individual pieces is by using a Supreme Community page. We'll head on over to that page now and we'll start covering the release details for week four. Here we are at the Supreme Community page that we'll be using today, guys. If you want to vote on the items yourselves, check out anything here. I'll link it down in the description section below for you guys to check out. We'll quickly cover these release details and then we'll dive into the individual pieces this week. So, uh, all items releasing in week four will drop on the 16th of March, 2023. They'll have an online release 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US. 4 p.m. British Standard Time for the UK and 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time for the EU, so for Germany and Italy. Uh, it'll be dropping two days later on the 18th, March the 18th, uh, for Japan, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. Uh, that is all the regions that this is going to be releasing in, guys. If you have any further questions about when and where it's dropping, Drop those questions in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But now that we've covered everything to do with the release details to do with week four, we got to cover those pieces. See what we're getting in this week. We'll do that by covering the individual sections. Let's check out the tops slash sweaters releasing in week four. And we have three releasing this week. We've got the metallic long sleeve top. From my understanding, it's a long sleeve top where it's got uh, shiny is probably not the word, right word to use but i guess metallic uh speckled pieces inside the build of the actual top itself uh like if it's an okay retail price i'm not opposed to it but that's the one thing that we don't have this week is the retail prices for the pieces so i'm a little unsure just looking at like the black design i think they're okay but it would be very dependent on the price i'm just going to give it like a Okay, thumbs up. Like, I have nothing against, like, me uh, metallic or shiny, like, uh, pieces uh, inside of garments and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's all dependent on price for me for that one. We've got the Block Arc Short Sleeve Top. Supreme Arcing Logo Across the Chest. Done in a block type font. Uh, it's okay. I, there's not too many of the colors that are really speaking to me. The white one's probably my favorite. But if it's an alright retail price, like, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Next, we've got the small box stripe sweater. So small box logo sweater, but it's striped. We can see it comes in a tonal stripe design. I'm not too crazy about this one. I would have just preferred like single colored small box stripe, uh, small box sweater. 
that would have, I would have been happy. Get rid of the stripes, and I would have been more keen on it. The colors aren't doing too much for me. I'm going to leave it as a thumbs down. It's a shame. Normally, I don't have any issues with the small box uh, stuff, but it's just the colors and the design for that one isn't hitting for me. Uh, that is all the top slash sweaters releasing in week four, though, guys. Moving into the pants, we've got some pretty crazy uh, pants releasing this week, actually. <laughs> we've got the Patchwork Leather 5 Pocket Jeans. So, jean silhouette done with patchwork leather pieces, all, you know, stitched together to assemble this thing. It's tonal, so it's single-coloured leather. Um, I, I think that's a, a good choice to do. Um, I think that just leaving it as, you know, that instead of going crazy with the color is a smart way of handling it. It's going to be quite expensive, but I actually like the silhouette, how the patchwork's done. I have no complaints on this piece. The white or the black, I think these are nice, but they're probably going to be a couple hundred USD. I'm like estimating like 400 USD, but if it's higher, I wouldn't be surprised either. It all depends on the leather, really. Um, next, we have the work pants. Work pants coming in various different colors. We've got two pattern ones, one at the start, one at the end. We've got gray, blue, green, pink, and white. Uh, I would have just liked some black ones, honestly. Um, yeah, like, all these colors are cool, but skip me some black ones. The blue ones are all right. Like, I could wear the blue ones, but... Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up because it's alright, but we could have gone with better colour options with that one. And last but not least, we have the flocked regular jeans with that colour applied to them. I really like it in the red, um, this first colour here. I'm not super deterred by it, but I'm not super keen on it. But the red one's a pretty crazy colour to look at. Uh, yeah, I think these are fun. I'd give these a thumbs up as well. I'm a fan of the pants that are releasing this week, mainly because they are pants and there's not any shorts releasing this week or anything like that, so happy days. Um, yeah, let's go check out the hats this week. For the hats, we have the crochet edge hat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna agree with the community on that one. We got the city's patches six panel. Yeah, yeah, I'm disagreeing with that one. We got the gradient box logo new era. Man, I'm like so iffy on the box logo new eras. If this was just a solid color, I'm fine. Like the gradient isn't horrible. I'm just like, just just let me have a solid color. <laughs> but maybe you guys feel different. Obviously, you guys do. I think I'm just gonna have to leave this one as a downvote. I've not been. I've never been hugely on the. Uh, on the box logo new eras i'm more of a fan of the camp caps uh i just like that silhouette better i think it just looks a lot nicer but uh yeah that is all the hats releasing this week guys we've got two sweatshirts releasing this week we've got the world famous micro hooded sweatshirt very small logo on the chest there very nice color offering i can't fault that that's a nice piece next we've got the worldwide hooded sweatshirt this is the type of Supreme hoodie that I'm going to see on like the secondhand Japanese websites for like retail or less, you know, like I can't see this like being like a, a, a very like hard to find item moving forward. Like it's nice, don't get me wrong, like I have no issue with like the, the font graphic on the back, but yeah, I, I don't know. Do you kind of get what I mean? Like, uh, I'm, I'm not here for the hype. I just know that I, like, a lot of people are going to buy into this initially, then sell it later on for, like, really cheap. And, like, if I wanted it, I just buy it off them when they want to sell it real cheap. I'm not going to be clambering to get this one. Um, but if it came up, like, on those secondhand websites for, like, quite cheap, I'd, like, pick it up because it's, like, a solid hoodie. But, um... Like, I just have this feeling that I'm going to see this a lot when I go through, like, Second Street Japan and stuff over the next coming weeks. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the feeling I got. But I'll give it a thumbs up. If it's, like, under 150 USD, maybe I'd cop. But I'd actually be more, like, more sought after and more keen on getting the world-famous micro-hooded sweatshirt. This one here. That's just how I feel, though. But, uh, yeah, those are the hoodies releasing for week four. For the jackets, we have two releasing this week. We have the patchwork leather cargo vest. No complaints about this. You know, cargo vest, leather, patchwork, single colored, easy to wear. Could wear this in a bunch of streetwear scented outfits. It will, it will look really nice in the black and the, and the white. It's going to be very expensive though, but I'll get around it. I'll give that one a thumbs up for sure. Uh, next, we got the flocked denim trucker jacket. I like the red color again. Very nice. Even just having like the full Canadian tuxedo of these two crazy colored denim pieces with the pants and the jacket would look really nice. Um, yeah, no complaints on that one. I like that one as well. Into the crazy accessories this week. We got the Supreme 
Is it Hotto five piece tool set? I mean, if you want some, if you want a five piece tool set that is all Supreme branded, go for your life. It's 158 US dollars. I've got a tool set that probably cost around half of that and it's not Supreme branded and has more tools in it. So um, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> if I ever need to tear apart my computer or fix something up with some tools, I've got a bigger kit on standby. It's all right. Next, we got the Supreme Tamagotchi. We saw this in the video with the woman with the huge nails playing with it, which I don't even know how she was playing with it, in all honesty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think it's fun. It's kind of goofy. Uh, you can see like the Supreme background on it and stuff like that. Would I get this? Yeah, I'd get it and attach it to my keys and just have it. Like, like you know, you if you're friends with a bunch of like 20 year olds and you pull that out at like a party or something to pull that out at a gathering, everyone's gonna be like, yo, is that a Tamagotchi? And then you can do it with the, this is a Supreme Tamagotchi. And they'll be like, that exists. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, it'll just be a fun conversation piece that you can just whip out for fun. Uh, if it's like under 30 bucks, like I'll get around it, but I have a feeling they're going to tack on like a huge price on that one. Next, we got the Supreme Imbari Pocket Folding Towels, set of two, so you get two of them. 18 bucks. I mean, it's like 18 bucks for a Supreme towel, and it's a set of two, so you're paying $9 a towel. Uh, I have no issues at $9 a towel, in all honesty. Uh, I'd give that one a thumbs up for that one. But yeah, some really fun accessories this week. Definitely the Tamagotchi. That's the uh, that's the highlight for me out of the accessories this week. Last but not least, we have the Croc Patch Short Sleeve Work Shirt. The only collared shirt releasing this week. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with the uh, rest of the community on that one. I'm going to give that one a thumbs down and that regard but uh yeah that is everything releasing in week four definitely a smaller week and i was actually worried if it was releasing at all but supreme has posted it on their story so it is you know queued up and ready to go uh i'd say my favorite pieces are the hoodies the uh jackets this week and the doo -doo 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 -doo. definitely the accessories like the tamagotchi's fun the towels are all right i'm not really too keen on the tool set because i got a better one but yeah, no, the red, like there are some fun pieces this week. I really like the red denim jacket though, and the red denim pants. Very nice, very, very nice. The leather stuff's cool, but I just know it's gonna be super expensive. Yeah, no, I think there's some nice pieces here in week four. Uh, very simple pieces, right? Like there's no, looking at it, there's no pieces with huge, like all over the top graphics that look really ugly or anything like that. Like there's just some nice pieces here which um, seems to be the trend, especially with this season with the new creative director, uh, Mr. Denim Tears himself. But uh, yeah, well, look, let me know how you feel about it, guys. Now that we've covered all the individual pieces, the week as a whole, is week four a yes from you or a no from you? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, that is everything to cover about week four, guys. We covered the release details. For most of the world, it's releasing on the 16th of March. For Japan, the 18th. We covered all the individual pieces releasing in this week and we covered my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole now that we've covered all that i want to have that conversation with you guys in the comment section below i love having a chat with you guys what are you picking up what are you feeling are you picking up those leather patchwork pants are you picking up that tamagotchi i want to know what you're picking up let me know what you're going to be grabbing from week four down in that comment section below and of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Supreme releases, collabs, all that good stuff, you just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and that best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. As mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to hit that new subscriber milestone of 3,600 before the end of March. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that is all I got to say about week four, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for items from this week. Hopefully you can pick up the items you want and the size and color you are after. But until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear dog video, until the next Supreme video in general, I'll catch you later.